Okay, everybody, um, we are going to continue our conversation on adding fractions with unlike denominators. So today we've got the same steps that we had did yesterday. So we're going to find our common denominator, make equivalent fractions, add them up, and then reduce if possible. So we are going to focus on the horizontal method a little bit today, just to kind of give you a feel for that. Um, and I again, I want to show you an example of how the vertical method and the horizontal method are the same um, and how they're different. So we'll do the vertical up here and the horizontal down here. So let's do one third plus one half. So first we have to find our common denominator. The common denominator or the LCM with this for, th for three and two would be six. So six and six. Three times two would be six. One times two is two. Two times three is six. One times three is three. Okay, and so what some people like to do is put, oops, a squeaky marker. Times three, times three, times two times two. If that's helpful for you, that's totally fine. Um, just to kind of keep your keep yourself aware of what you're multiplying by, just so you can remember. Um, but then when we add these up, five plus, or two, two plus three is five, and our denominator is going to be six. The horizontal method will look like this. One third plus one half equals, and again, we're going to have our common denominators here. And we have to compare here, or we have to use these two fractions. Um, and the only reason that I think the horizontal is a little tricky is just because they are a little farther apart. So three times two is six. One times two would be two. So my two goes up here. Two times three is six. So one times three is three. You add those up. Two plus three is five. And my denominator is six. Um, I always like to circle my answer so it's easy to find because there's a lot of fractions going on. But you can see that either way, you're going to get the same answer. So that is one problem. Let me show you another problem. We're going to do this horizontally today. Um, let's do two-fourths. Oh, well, am I going to have enough room? Maybe not. Let's write a little smaller. two fourths plus two-thirds. Okay, so our first step is we have to find our common denominator. So four and three, our lowest common denominator here is going to be 12. So 12 for both of them. And then four times three would be 12. Two times three is six. 3 times 4 is 12, so 2 times 4 is 8. When we add these up, 8 and 6 are going to be 14 twelfths. Now, with reducing if necessary or if possible, this is an improper fraction. So we're actually going to have to reduce this um, in kind of a different way than our than our typical just reducing. We're actually going to turn this into a mixed number. So if we think about how we turn things into a mixed number. So 12 goes into 14 one whole time with how many left over. And remember our denominator stays the same. So two left over. So one and two twelfths. And then if we reduce that even further, we can do one and one sixth. So our final answer here is one and one sixth. All right, let's do another one. How about two thirds plus six tenths? Okay, so our common denominator here, I'm gonna go with 30, because if we did our, um, <coughs> excuse me, if we did, if we counted by threes, uh, the only number ending in a zero is going to be 30 until we, until that's going to be the only one that's going to be common for both of these. So 10, 20, 30, and 3 times 10 is 30. So I'm going to use 30 as my common denominator. So 3 times 10 is 30. 2 times 10 is 20. 
10 times 3 is 30. 6 times 3 is 18. So now when we add this up, we're going to have 20 plus 18 would be 38 over 30. And we can reduce this again. And again, I'm running out of room here. But 30 goes into 38 one whole time with how many left over? 8. And 30 is our denominator. Now, I can reduce this again because they're both even. So 1 and 4 fifteenths would be our answer there. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the end of our video. Um, what you can do from here is go back to Google Classroom and check out the board notes. And then you can complete the worksheet for the day and the fast check. Um, submit. Make sure you submit your work. Um, if you have any questions, please check in at office hours. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, and have a great day. I'll see you next time.